Which is your favorite room? It is the kitchen of my house. The reason is simple, I am a foodie and that's the place where my heart is, at home. How do you spend your free time at home? I usually water the plants, clean the house. I enjoy listening to music while doing all this. If I have more time, I love to go for a drive too. Where do you work? I work in a renowned private sector company. My workplace is just about a 20-minute drive from home. What do you like about your work? Why? My work allows me to be independent in my thought process. It gives me a complacent sense of self. Weekends How do you usually spend your weekends? Why? I am very lazy during the weekends. But I take time out for activities that I like to do on Sundays. Which is your favorite part of the weekend? Why? I feel weekend evenings are quite exciting as I step out with my family or friends or have random get-togethers and reunions. Do you think your weekends are long enough? Why slash why? Not. I wish they were longer. After six days of systematic work, I feel at times to extend the day off, which is practically impossible. So, I don't think my weekends are that long. How important do you think it is to have free time at weekends? Why? The free time during weekends is significant in every way for a person. It does have a role to play, physically, mentally, socially and emotionally. IELTS Speaking Part 2, Q Card Slash Candidate Task Card, describe someone you know who does something while you should say, who this person is? How do you know this person? What they do well? And explain why you think this person is so good at doing this. Sample Answer Q Card, describe someone you know who does something well I am a very social person. I love to interact in new circles and engage with people. This helps me to understand different spectrums about their professions and take on life. I would talk about a young lady I met during an exhibition. Her name is Asha and she is an entrepreneur. She is into Handmade jewelry, accessory designing and traditional Furnishing items I met her at an exhibition, as I am quite fond of trinkets. I vividly recall that she had decorated her stall very creatively. At a glance, any person would be eager to just visit her space and have a look at her creations. As I was being familiarized with different patterns of the ornaments and accessories by her, she told me to follow her on social media. I immediately did and was amazed to see the kind of listings she had on her page. She had a valuable customer base with people ordering her designs from world over. She seemed passionate in her business and was supporting craft sessions in various schools and designing institutes locally as well. I believe Asha is very disciplined and oriented towards what she wants to accomplish in life. Her parents are her support system. Moreover, she has a pleasant attitude and is kind in understanding selections or customizations according to her customer's desire. I think her excellence in business is pure because she takes one thing at a time, without compromising on anything. Therefore, in the end, whatever she is striving for, comes to her. I was elated and even motivated to an extent after meeting her. IELTS Speaking Part 3 Skills and Abilities, Salary Skills and Abilities what skills and abilities do people most want to have today? Why? Times have changed drastically with internet and social media apps. The ability that people want to have the most is to be connected all times, traversing their business needs and on a personal level too. A skill that people look forward to is to excel in the area they are ardent. If a person is a musician, he is ready to learn the skills of the peripheral domains with which he can be a popular YouTuber or sponsors his videos through online ads. Which skills should children learn at school? Are there any skills which they should learn at home? What are they? Youngsters imbibe key skills like socializing, sharing, and caring during their school years. 
School ushers a wholesome environment to harness these qualities too, with teachers and authorities to keep a check whenever students seem to go off track. They advise and mold children in a better way. At home, kids should be able to learn to be considerate of others, and grit to grow up courageously. These are essential qualities that parents need to impart in their children. Which skills do you think will be important in the future? Why? I feel since we are all witnessing a paradigm shift in our lifestyles, it is important to have communication skills tuned according to the changing scenario. People need to be more skillful in technology, need to learn and accept the way artificial intelligence is going to enable our future lives. Machine learning is another aspect to make youngsters skillful anticipating future changes. Salaries for skilled people. Which kinds of jobs have the highest salaries in your country? Why is this? I would say that professionals related to STEM, that is science, technology, engineering, and math are most appreciated in my country. Jobs relating to this category need diligence and critical analysis. Individuals are paid well in associated industries of STEM, be it a doctor, scientist, engineer, or tax practitioners. They all seem to do well and earn well too. Are there any other jobs that you think should have high salaries? Why do you think that? Yes, there are many kinds of job that should pay highly to those involved in them. I believe in my country, a teaching job is not lucrative at all, whereas an admin manager in the same school may be better paid than the educator there. Also, I feel housekeeping workers and other gig laborers may be paid as per their hard work and exertion. I think all this may bring about a macro-level change across sectors of employment. Some people say it would be better for society if everyone got the same salary. What do you think about that? Why? This aspect of generalizing pay structure can never be realized. Everyone does different kinds of jobs. The nature of work and the efforts one is required to put in varies across different domains. Yes, there are thinkers who feel this way. But, in reality, it may never prevail in society so easily. There are a lot of obstacles which may arise if we standardize salaries for everyone. Cambridge IELTS 10 Speaking Test 2 Part 1 Answers What types of music do you like to listen to? It's quite varied really, sometimes I like to listen to pop music and other times I like to listen to movie soundtracks or instrumental music. I guess it depends on what I'm doing or how I'm feeling, for example, if I'm feeling energetic I'll probably listen to some high energy music or something with a good beat to get me going. On the other hand, if I'm driving or maybe even reading I'll listen to something more relaxing, maybe some nice instrumental music because I find it helps me concentrate. I usually listen to music throughout the day, on and off, but I suppose the longest period would be when I'm traveling to work because the journey is almost an hour there and another hour returning at night, and listening to music helps pass the time. Other times of the day when I normally listen to music would include when I go to the gym to train and sometimes before I go to sleep because it helps me to relax. Did you learn to play a musical instrument when you were a child? No, I didn't. It wasn't something I was interested in. My parents wanted me to learn how to play the piano but I preferred to do sports and eventually they realized that my interests lay elsewhere. My brother and sister both play instruments, so I guess I'm the odd one out in my family, but I don't believe that I have any musical ability. Oddly though, they are terrible at sports but I'm really good at anything physical like that, so in a way I guess we balance each other out. Do you think all children should learn to play a musical instrument? It's not something which should be compulsory, but I do believe that every child should have the opportunity to learn how to play a musical instrument and discover if they have a talent for it, or not. 
It's important that children discover the things they're good at and develop those skills rather than being forced to do something they're not really interested in doing. But it's certainly not necessary for every child to learn how to read music and play it. I hope you liked the video. Kindly subscribe the channel for our appreciation. Thank you. Online